Okay, I'm going to try and do two quick reviews here. Uh, got some more peppers here from Buddy. Got a Benny Highlands and a Hinkle Hats. Uh, a C. Chinese and a Anium. So, I heard a lot about both of these. These are supposed to be real aromatic and, and fruity. And this one is from the good old USA, so I'm looking forward to trying this one. This is from Bolivia. Start with the Benny Highlands. Hmm. Not too much of a smell at all. Up close it smells fruity, almost like a Fatali or a Rabanda de Majac. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. so, I'm going to take off these seeds here because I don't want the seeds, but leave the placenta on there. And I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so here we go. Let's try this. Ooh, very. <coughs> took me by surprise. Very flavorful. And, and had some good heat. Actually, tastes a lot like a fatale. Not as hot, of course. Just that initial oil. Really, I inhaled and. Oh. Mm. Very, very, very similar to a fatale. Mm. In flavor. The heat, not nearly as potent as a Vitali, of course. It's a nice tingle in the sides of the tongue. Um, flavor was, was kind of citrusy. Uh, very, it's actually probably a little bit. Uh, more flavorful than the Fatali, more of a concentrated Fatali flavor than the actual Fatali. But but definitely not as hot, but definitely tasty. Um, although, for me, the reason I like the Fatali so much was the combination of the flavor and the heat. Um, but this is very nice. Still got a good, good tongue burn. It's definitely still a, a hot chili, maybe like a habanero. Like a, an orange hab. Uh, it's got a, a good tongue. Nothing on the throat, nothing on the roof of the mouth. But still very nice. Uh, medium seeds, medium to low seed. Um, nice, nice little bite. This could be, this is definitely something you could. Slice up and throw on a sandwich or something. If you don't want the full Fatali heat. I think I like this. You know, I tasted more flavor in this one than in the in the Banda Mashak. Um, and this was definitely, I mean, this really is just, it's exactly like a Vitali without the heat. Uh, or without the, the same amount of heat. Just a regular habanero heat. Very tasty. And uh, I like it. Pretty... Pretty plain looking pod, uh, but but good. Mm. We get ready for the single hats here. Kind of clean the palate. And get up. <clears throat> get a corn chip here. <sighs> okay, so we'll start by. Cutting this guy open. Hmm. Pretty neat looking inside. Nice and pretty thick wall. Smells like an anium. It's like a green chili or a jalapeno, just kind of potty. 
Not like the, the Benny Highlands that had that nice citrusy, fruity. Yeah, I really, Single Hats has no, no aroma whatsoever. Let me just cut off the stem there. There we go. Scrape off some of these seeds. Uh, close enough. Okay, let's try this. Inkle Hats. Cyanium. <coughs> oh, wow. Very juicy. Um, skin is very thick. The flesh on the inside, extremely juicy, but the outside skin is very thick. Mm. You bite into it, you got a rush of juice. Flavor's okay. It's just kind of, let's say kind of potty. I don't really have a, really don't taste a lot. Try that little piece here. There's a rush of juice. Mm. Maybe a little grapey. I don't like that uh, Inca drop, but Inca drop tasted much better than this. This doesn't taste bad, but it's just not, it doesn't make you go, wow. Um, lots of seeds in this one. This might be good, maybe if you roast them. I've noticed most of the anions taste great when you roast them. So, I wouldn't, I might try, I have one more of these, maybe try roasting it just to see how much it alters the flavor, but. Okay, so, Benny Highlands, thumbs up. This one, jury's still out. Um, just didn't have that great of flavor, or just had like more of a lack of flavor. Didn't taste bad, just didn't have a lot of flavor. And then the, when you bit into it, that juice is really kind of a weird sensation. So, okay, well thanks buddy. Um, we'll keep the reviews coming, and I appreciate you sending those chilies to me. Bye-bye.